Today I'm doing a makeup that makes you feel good and happy. Spring has finally sprung and it is Easter. This is my favourite holiday of all times. I don't know why. I kind of prefer it more than Christmas maybe. But I just wanted to do a really healthy, happy spring makeup. I'm going to put on a little bit of moisturising cream. I'm using the Neutrogena Hypo... Hydro, sorry, not Hypo, Hydro Gel Boost. A little bit of under eye cream. I'm using the Tarte C Brightening Eye Treatment Cream. I love this eye cream. It's so light, but also really creamy, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of nude lip balm on. This is from Walida. I love Walida as a brand. I think they're amazing. And um, I really, really, I've got a kind of old school love for them anyway, because it was a brand that I always used to use at my school. Um, and I love these new lip balms they've just bought in. This is, these are tinted ones, but this one's a nude one. So it's very, very natural. Mm. Um, but they also have like rose ones and stuff like that, which obviously I love. Um, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Now I'm going to pop this over my skin. I'm just going to take it by the wand. I'm just going to pop it here and here, a little bit there. I love this product. It's kind of weird because I thought it was a foundation. It is not. It's not a foundation, guys. It's a bit confusing because when you see it, it looks like a foundation. Um, but it's actually more of a filter base, so you can put it on before your foundation, which is what I like to do. It gives your skin this beautiful glow, but it's actually got more of a creamy texture to it. So as you can see, it instantly just gives your skin that instant lift. Okay, so I've popped that all over my face like that. I'm also going to put a little bit on later as well. And I'm using the Zoeva 102 foundation brush. Next up, I'm going to use a little bit of this foundation, actually. I've only just been introduced to this foundation, weirdly enough, because I'm a massive fan of Stiller, so I don't know why I've only just got hold of this. But this is the Stay All Day Stiller Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. It's a foundation like this. You pop, you go, and it squishes it up. But there's also, let me just show you the end at the top on the lid, there's also a concealer, which is great. The only thing I would say is the concealer is better for like blemishes rather than under your eyes because I like something a little bit lighter under my eyes. Um, but as a foundation, I really like it. I'm only going to use a small amount, same foundation brush, and I'm just going to buff that into my skin. So I just blend that in. And as you can see, I've hardly used any, guys. I've literally... Can you see there, I've only taken like the small half, so there's still quite a lot of product there, which is really annoying, because I don't really like wasting product, but at the same time, I don't really want to use that much. Now, I can go in with a little concealer brush, and I'm going to use the top bit of the concealer, just go around areas like my nose and stuff, just to give me a bit more coverage on those areas. It's really handy though. It's a great, it's a great product to carry around with you if you're travelling or something, because you know it's all contained. Which is always really helpful. Right, let's get in and cover those bags because that is seriously, it's not okay. I'm gonna take light to medium bisque in the Bobbi Brown corrector. I'm just taking that into the corner and under my eye. And I'm using a little concealer brush from Zoeva, which is the 142 buffing brush. I love these brushes. There are three of them. They're all from Zoeva and I'm in love with this collection. Look at those. I really like round-ended brushes. I don't know why. Again, it's a personal preference. I'm going to continue with my corrector and then with my ring finger, just pat that out. And I'm now going to use the All Night Long Full Coverage Concealer by Barry M. This is brand new, but I really, really like it. Um, it's got a really nice colour to it and I'm just going to pop that under my eyes. Make you look a bit more alive. Ta-da! Oh, the magic of makeup. Right, I'm just going to put, before I put this eyeshadow on, I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow primer. And you know me, guys, I love my Smashbox one. I don't tend to change that up that much because I know this one works and I love it. And I also love the fact that it's a neutral tone. So if you do happen to have any kind of, um, you know, uh, veins showing on your eyelids, this really tones that down. You only need a really small amount as well. So it's really worth investing in one that you know works because... It is going to last. I am going to take the new Glossier. Uh, which one is this? This is number Cub. 
So it's a really beautiful kind of rose goldy tone. I love these eyeshadows. These are cream eyeshadows. I like to put them on the back of my hand first. I'm literally just going to pop that on my lid. Like a really beautiful wash of colour. Now these guys do not come off once you put them on. They're like super amazing. They've got such a gorgeous texture and they're just really soft but I love them. I love the colour. I love how easy it is. You know, none of the colours are really intrusive. They've just got some really beautiful colours and they just last. I just love a little wash. Now I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of matte powder over that and this one is High Pigment number 47 by Kiko. See, it's just a matte, bronzy, kind of browny um, eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pop that underneath my eye just to give a bit of definition. So I'm now going to use a liquid liner and I don't often use liquid liners very much because I don't really like them too much. I find them a bit messy. I like kind of gels or pencils. I feel like I've got more control over them. But the reason I love this Lord & Berry one is because it's super shiny. And I just think it adds something a little bit different to an eyeliner. So this is the Lord & Berry. This is Ink Glam and it kind of comes in one of those. It's one of these ones, so it's quite wet. I'm just going to give myself a really good line. So that's kind of where I want my liner, my little flick. And then I'm just going to join it up by the middle. So you've got a really gorgeous kind of angled liner. Now don't worry guys, lots of you get in a bit of panic when it comes to eyeliner but I have done an eyeliner masterclass I will link it below so you can check that out but also just take your time it does take practice I'm not gonna lie but make sure you just kind of look dead straight in the mirror get where you want your flick to be so draw in your flick first and then do the rest but mainly take your time so many people try and do it really quickly and I can't do it that quickly so it really is something if you want the precision um, you know practice makes perfect now I'm just going to pop a little bit of um, mascara on. Um, I'm just going to curl my lashes. And just put a little bit, this is CYO lengthening mascara that I'm using. Do you see how it's a little bit shiny, the liner? I love that. Love the shine. Because I can, I'm going to do a little lash and I'm going to do a little bit of wispy. I was like to kind of give them a little press just to make sure they're in position. Makes such a difference. I love a lash. Makes me so happy. Eh, voila. I'm going to use the new Hourglass eyeliner. Eyeliner? The new Hourglass eyebrow pencil, which is amazing. It comes with a little wind up thing like that. I love Hourglass. Fill in my brows ever so slightly with the corner. I'm going to take the warm mascara brown brush from Auto Hourglass. Just brush that through my brows just to keep them in place. I like this brush because there's one end that's like a spoolie and one end that's not. It's quite cool. So it just captures every little hair. Just keeps them in place. Now that I've kind of done the eyes, what I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit more mascara just so I'm connecting my false lashes and my lashes together. So just take a little bit more mascara and just simply just go right underneath. Just make sure they all blend together. It's best to do this though, guys, when, um, when the glue has dried on the lashes. So you're just connecting the two. Try not to stab yourself in the eye like I just did. I'm going to give myself a little bit of, um, not contour, but a little bit of a bronzer, but I want to do it with a with a foundation stick rather than an actual powder bronzer because I want to keep everything really fresh and dewy. I want my skin to look really alive. So I'm going to take this one. This is All Night Long Medium Coverage Foundation Stick by Barry M. And I'm taking it in the colour Hazelnut, which is really dark, as you can see. And I'm just going to simply pop that on certain areas where I want a little bit of bronzer. So I'm just going to pop it a little bit around here, around my hairline, a little bit along 
here to give me a natural kind of little bit of contour, a little bit along the jowl, so kind of in those kind of areas like that. And then I'm simply just going to buff all of that in. So it's, it not doesn't look too kind of contoury because I don't really like that look on me, but I just want to kind of make my skin look really nice and healthy but with a little bit of a, a bronze hint to it. So it's kind of like, exactly like that, it's a cream bronzer really. Just kind of gives a nice glow to the skin. So you can go back in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the one that I used at the beginning, and you simply just can take the product and just simply pop it on top of your foundation. So it just adds a little bit of highlighter. So it's really, really nice. So you can just do that if you want to, it's completely up to you. A little bit on top of the lips, on the nose. But again, guys, we're just really making sure that everything looks really, really pretty and not too cakey. Now I haven't put any powder on yet, but I wanna do a little bit of a cream blush. Again, keeping in with this whole really glossy skin texture. And I'm gonna go with Beam by um, Glossier again. This is more of the kind of peachy orangey tone. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my hand and then just very gently, kind of I like to smile, just pop it on the kind of apples of my cheeks. Now the great thing about these is they're a lovely kind of gel consistency. They're so pretty. And again, just looks like your skin, guys. It's all about having that really beautiful, iridescent kind of glowing skin. And this is such a nice thing to do kind of summertime as well, because you're just making your skin look amazing. And I love cream products. So I'm going to go off with, start off with Infrared by Buxom. I blooming love these pencils. I think they're amazing. They're going to be so popular at summertime. This is obviously a very bright orangey colour. I love it because you can fill it in with the brush. I love that. Oh, I don't think we need another colour. I think that's it. I don't care if it's bright, I love it. Infrared, buxom. And then last but not least, guys, this is when you bring in the powder. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Hourglass powder. This is the iridescent um, ambient light one. It's got all three colours in it. I love this. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the two end ones. Just give myself a little powder. But it gives like this beautiful kind of candlelight effect to your skin and it's also got a highlightery one in the middle as well which you can put over the top but I've already got quite a lot of I've got quite a lot of sheen to my face so I don't think it's necessary so there you have it guys my beautiful spring brightening makeup look I hope you've enjoyed it make sure you ask any questions on the below comment section make sure you check out my Instagram Facebook and Twitter and I will see you next time for another makeup masterclass see you later I love a lash because I haven't put any liner oh no I have such a <laughs> I've forgotten what I'm doing basically <laughs> What an idiot. I haven't got any, I've got nothing on. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I have, I've just forgot what I look like.